Hello, fellow diggers. Well, to say like Bob says that I'm a happy bastard is just a little bit of an understatement. I am. I'm more. More than that. Uh, in fact, I don't even. I can't even think of a word to to put into words. Just how happy I am at at the detector that Bill and Bob sent me. That thing is is sweet. Uh, I just can't wait until I can get out there and really dig, because. Uh, a few people know about it, but uh, back uh, maybe about three weeks ago, I got up one morning and I went to slide my prosthetic on, and with the, they call it a sock, it's like a sleeve that goes on. With the sleeve that I had on, it wouldn't go down in there right. So I used one of the thinner sleeves, and it slipped right down in there, and I just rather than go to a thicker one later in the day as the as the overnight swelling went down I just continued to use that thin one because it went on easy and uh, it produced some blisters like you know how you get a blister on the back of your heel if you got some shoes that are too tight and there was some fluid build up in, in the leg and it was draining and when I went to see the prosthetic guy he told me he said well uh, you need to wear uh, the thickest of the socks that you can get on, and if you can wear more than one, put it on there. Uh, the tighter, the better, because if you wear one that's the, the thin one, what'll happen is your your nub will go down and, and hit the bottom of that the cup of the of the prosthetic, and it'll cause blisters and fluid buildup. And I'm sitting there thinking, damn. He's telling me about my problems before I even tell him about the problems I'm having. Well, I think all this stems from that. It, it, I, I got those blisters healing, and then I got a couple more that were in the process of coming up. And then fluid build up from all of that. So my surgeon told me to stay off of the prosthetic and use it sparingly until everything heals up. So right now, when I go to first put it on, it's my legs real swollen and I've got to use the thin sock. And even then it's it's hard to, I gotta force my leg down in there. So it's not easy getting out there and walking on it right now. But once that heals up and the swelling's gone and everything, cause right before it started really acting up, I could put on three of the thickest socks and it felt real good it was nice and padded and but then these other blisters that were in the process of coming up started doing their thing and they started draining and then the swelling and so I'm having to to deal with that but the other day I, I'd have got out there if I if I'd had to do it on my hands and knees I'd have got out there and tried that detector out and I had to and most of this grass out here is fairly easy to dig in. Some of it's kind of rocky. And out of all of it, the one spot where I picked up my first signal that was a real signal, uh, it was right in a rocky spot. Now, the, I know everybody heard a lot of beeping, but if you notice, it was kind of a low grunt. So it was iron. And we got a lot of iron pellets and all in the soil around here, so... And I still haven't figured out how to discriminate the iron out with the double decoil. And this is something that we all know when you get a new detector, you got to figure them out. You got to feel them out. It's, it's like it's like a new girlfriend. You got to got to figure out what they like and and how to handle them. So uh, I'll get it. And as soon as I get to where my leg can, is healed up enough to where I can wear the thicker socks again and get out there and walk on it easy. Whether I've got the toe cut off or not, I'm going to get out and try a few. Because I know there's a new park over in Cairo. Well, it's not a new park. It's new to me. I just found it a while back. And I want to get over there and check in that park. Uh, and then there's a park over in Thomasville. When I go in to see some of my doctors, I want to go and check around the, the swing sets and everything. Because uh, I had somebody tell me one time they found most of their rings around swing sets where the mothers were pushing the children and their rings came off. So uh, I want to get out there and check around some of the swing sets in that part. 
But as soon as this thing heals up and up to where I can do that, y'all will get, get some more uh, videos of me out digging. And now the Garrett, I'm going to let my son use it, and we'll get out and do some digs together. I'll get a tripod where we can set it up and do some live digs and, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I want to train him. He he needs to get his swing pattern down right, and he needs to get to where he can dig a nice neat hole and walk away from it, and you can't spot where he was digging. As soon as he gets to where he can do that, then we'll start asking some of these people in these old homes around here for permission to dig in their yard and uh, possibly seeing me standing on their porch with a prosthetic leg on, they might feel sorry for me and let me do it. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to, to let everybody know what the next progression is. Uh, as soon as my leg heals up enough to where I can, can put it on and walk without it causing me a lot of pain and without it uh, irritating these to a, to a point where it gets worse, then I'm going to get out there and start digging. But I will definitely be out there digging before the end of the season. Uh, Bill and Bob, guys, I can't begin to tell you how much this means to me. This this is truly a family. It's not just a group of friends doing this. We're, we're a family. And uh, you two are definitely my brothers. So you might be my little brothers, but you're my brothers. So guys, thanks again. And uh, everybody, thank you for your warm comments and everything. I, I, I love reading all the comments because everybody's been so positive. And uh, Penguin Chick, when they put that F2 up, get in on that contest. I'm here to tell you, good things can happen. And you just got a little $50 detector, and you're, a, you're an amp too, so... You know, who knows? You might end up with the F2. But definitely enter their contest. And they got more stuff they say coming up later, so who knows? But uh, get, in on, get in on the contest. I'd love to see you win that thing. And I'm going to jump off here. So until next time, peoples, this is your one and only Penny Digger. <laughs> and I'm out.